The Pittsburgh Maulers went as far as they could in the 2023 USFL season, reaching the championship game. Unfortunately, though, this past weekend, said game didn't go as planned as they lost 28-12. But could one Pittsburgh football team's misfortune end up spelling opportunity for another? We'll discuss further. Big Deek News. So basically, what I'm referring to here is the USFL season is officially over. So now the USFL players are free to sign with NFL teams. I think technically they were free to sign with NFL teams throughout their regular season. But I think NFL squads are going to be more likely to now that the season's over. The full body of work is out there and training camp is coming up in the next like three or four weeks. So why is this important for the Steelers? Well, there is a connection we've been talking about throughout this offseason uh, for multiple reasons. One, he is the Pittsburgh Maulers key linebacker, and that's Reuben Foster. Obviously, there's a Pittsburgh to Pittsburgh connection there. Uh, also, he does play linebacker. That's a position that we've been talking about as one of our weaknesses on defense, in particular, getting an athletic, talented, rangy, good coverage linebacker. Those are all things that fit Reuben Foster's playing style. And it just so happens that former Steeler linebacker Vince Williams sees the Steelers and Foster as a match made in heaven. As he quote tweeted a Reuben Foster highlight saying, yeah, he's going to end up playing for the other Pittsburgh team. Does Vince Williams know something that we don't? Coincidence that he tweeted this out? You tell me. But with Reuben Foster, I guess you could have skeptics point out or question like, hey, he didn't do anything in the league. Like, What makes you think he's going to have impact for the Steelers or in the NFL for that matter? Well, it was mainly injuries that kept him off the field. He just got riddled with injuries. Also had some legal issues pop up, but then ultimately got cleared of them. I think his stint with the USFL was the tryout or the thing to show the league that he could still do it because he still is 29. But what makes this good for the Steelers is we're not shelling out like five or six million for Foster. We're probably bringing him in if a contract or a signing does happen for a vet minimum deal. But it's only upside. It's one of those low risk, high reward type of moves. And he just so happens to fit that linebacker mold that we're looking for, that we're missing in our unit right now. So what did Foster's 2023 stint with the Maulers look like? Well, there was ups and downs, mainly ups, though, because when he was on the field, he was performing. Week three, defensive player of the week, had 11 tackles, two tackles for loss, intercepted a pass, and broke up another. Uh, he finished the season with 52 total tackles, half a sack and a pick, and was PFF's best graded player for the Pittsburgh Ballers by 10 points, actually. The first guy was Reuben Foster with a 90.5. And then at two was defensive lineman Boogie Roberts with a 79.9. Also give a shout out to Mark Gilbert with a 79.2, getting that third spot. And all that for Foster happened in only eight games as opposed to the 10 total that he could have played in. Well, uh, because of injuries, unfortunately, that is something that is still popping up. But I think I'd be remiss if I didn't mention another Maulers linebacker because he was being talked about uh, in the mix for the Defensive Player of the Year for the USFL and actually outproduced Reuben Foster, and that's uh, Chiava Tizino. His stats were 94 tackles, 9 tackles for loss, 2 picks, 2 forced fumbles, 2 touchdowns, uh, and 6 pass deflections. Now, to me, from the looks of it, it seems like this guy's got the Landon Roberts or Mark Robinson archetype to him, so I could see why the Steelers would maybe think, like, hey, we already have that type of guy on the roster. Uh, no need to bring in a Tizino. At the same time, though, production's production. If you could play football, you could play football. Sometimes you don't need to fit into the perfect NFL mold to make it into the NFL uh, there's so many guys that are good examples of that. James Harrison is one that comes to mind. He's definitely undersized for an edge rusher, but he made things work. I just feel like you got to do some projections, though, and just like how you think guys are going to fit on your roster. And I think Reuben Foster would be a better fit for this Steelers team and for this Steelers linebacker room. So if I had the pick, I would definitely go Reuben Foster over to Zeno. But let me know what you guys think. Do you think Vince Williams is on to something? Do you think the Steelers are actually interested. If you were the GM, would you pick up a Reuben Foster or would you prefer Tizino? But hope you guys enjoyed this video on a Monday. Stay chilling and peace.